Something that can be quite frustrating is the rather inconsistent way in which the terrorist label is applied in the United States. We will hunt down terrorists who threaten our country wherever they are. So let's play a game. I'm sure you're all familiar with Dylan Roof, a white supremacist who allegedly tried to start a race war by killing nine black Americans in a church in Charleston. But he wasn't labeled as a terrorist by the mainstream media or by the FBI. Pakistani-American Jubair Ahmad, on the other hand, was sentenced to 12 years in prison in 2012 for making a YouTube video on behalf of the Pakistani militant group lashkar e -Tayyaba. Nine people killed versus YouTube video. Okay, what about Jared Lofner, the man who in 2011 shot Arizona Congresswoman Gabby Giffords and killed six other people? Here is an anti-government activist who tried to kill a congresswoman, but he's not a terrorist, apparently. He was charged only with murder and attempted murder. Compare and contrast with Javed Iqbal, a New York businessman sentenced to six years in prison for assisting terrorists. What did he do? He provided Americans with access to Hezbollah's satellite channel. Well, if that's terrorism, then Robert Doggett, the man who allegedly plotted to attack an entire Muslim community in New York, must surely have been labeled a terrorist. Not quite. He ended up charged with solicitation to commit a civil rights violation by intending to damage or destroy religious property. He's currently at home awaiting trial. No mention of the T word. Yet here's Tariq Mahanna, a pharmacist who was sentenced to more than 17 years in prison for providing material support to terrorists, for essentially translating Al-Qaeda propaganda videos. Some might say that falls under freedom of speech. So is there a double standard? Not if you're Fox News. Not all Muslims are terrorists, but all terrorists are Muslim. But hold on, a recent study found that since 9-11, far-right extremists have killed almost twice as many Americans in the US as Muslim extremists. So to sum up, if you're a Muslim American and worried about the T word, be careful when you're going online, visiting YouTube or watching cable, and don't even think about taking a clock to school. If you're a white supremacist, do whatever you like.